little sacrifices for the greater of glory of God. But ironically today, we honor a man, a chaplain, who gave the ultimate sacrifice for both God and country. So today we honor the life of Father Emil Capon, a native farm boy from Kansas who was uh, in World War II, a chaplain in the Pacific Theater. During the Korean conflict, he was a chaplain there on the front lines and he was serving the men in all their needs, both spiritually and corporally. But during the Battle of Monson, uh, early on in the war, he was taken prisoner with a whole host of other men. And they were led on a death march of about 64 miles. One of those situations where if you stop, they're going to shoot you. So he carried the men on his shoulders and he encouraged the men to be strong. And he, he was just a, a strong figure for a lot of these men. But he also witnessed the horrors of being there in a prison camp. And there he still, as a chaplain, served and administered the last rites, heard their confession, prayed the rosary with them, especially those who were dying. He was also doing all the task of building fires, of cleaning the men that have soiled themselves from dysentery or, or just boiling water, little things that meant so much to these men. It was also known as St. Demis, and he encouraged to pray to the men to St. Demis, because he was also known for gathering food, because he was stealing it, bringing it back into the camp for these men. But our, our hero today, he passed away on May 23rd of 1951, and he was posthumously awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. So today we honor the life and virtues of Father Emil Capon.